There may come a time when you discover that you need to uninstall Bitdefender. Now the normal way to go about that is to click on start, start typing in control, so you get your control panel option. To follow on this video, just make sure you have small or large icons selected in the view by area and then choose the programs and features option. You will see Bitdefender in the list. Click on it to choose it and then click on uninstall. You may also see a Bitdefender agent. You can do the same with that, right? Now that would be the normal way and generally that would be all you have to do. You'll need to restart your computer and everything will be fine. Sometimes that doesn't work, perhaps uh, due to um, malware corrupting the installation of Bitdefender so that it can't properly remove itself any longer. So you do have another option. So let's go and check that out. I'm going to go online. I'll give you the URL for this in the description, but if you need to search for it, if the URL changes, etc., I'm going to type in Bitdefender removal tool, as we see here. So I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see that uh, one of the top choices is bitdefender.com uninstall. So we're going to go to that URL. Okay. Now I'm going to select that and copy it so that I can put it in the description. And you will be presented with a number of options, right? So there's uninstallers for the paid version and the trial version of the commercial consumer products, right? And uninstall tools for their business products. Let's assume that you have a paid version. You would select that button and you would be presented with uninstallers for their various flavors of Bitdefender, right? Assuming you have the latest one, in this case, for the sake of this video, I'll click on that. They do have a survey. They'd like to know why, but let's skip that for the moment and just directly download the uninstaller. For Google Chrome, that will appear in the lower left-hand corner. For Firefox in the upper right, it'll be the little blue arrow. If you're using Microsoft Edge, you'll have a little bit in the bottom center where it gives you the option to run. In this case, in any of those cases, open the uh, file that's been downloaded and you'll be presented with the uninstaller. If you like, close the browser so that you don't have any distractions. Sometimes these kinds of things will end up hiding behind the browser and cause un uh, untold confusion, right? But go ahead and click on uninstall and it should run through a whole system, uh, a whole process of removing and then prompt to restart your machine. Now, since I had already run this uninstall tool earlier and I don't actually have the paid version, I've got the free version. This one has, removal has finished with errors. So that's not something you would normally expect to see. Normally you would go ahead and reboot, do that. And hopefully that's all you need to do to get rid of the Bitdefender installation.